Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based on Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I would like to do today, guys, is show you how to create a cool leaf pattern brush with inside of Adobe Illustrator. A really good idea that you can use across many forms of graphic design, ranging from borders of leaflets, cool little brush stroke ideas, logos. And what I'd like you to do is take the steps that I show you today and implement them into your workflow and designs. And I guarantee you, you'll be really impressed with the end product and you'll be uh, really creating some really cool, interesting and modern looking designs. The first thing I need to do is use our shapes because I need to create the actual element that I will be uh, using as the actual uh, pattern brush. I'm going to use our rectangle tool here and press shift to create a nice, perfect, proportionate square. As you can see, I've gone for a green color. You can change that here for your swatches, or if you double click the uh, fill option here, brings up your color picker and you can change the color like so. Let's have a go for a lighter green. Now what I'm going to do using the lasso tool is select the top right-hand corner and the bottom left-hand corner and use my direct selection tool and use the dots that are situated in the corners here, which allow me to round off our corners like so to create a leaf looking like shape. Now what I need to do is copy and paste this in front. As you can see, I'm not saying copy uh, and paste. I'm saying copy and paste in front. There's a difference between the two. So what I would like to do is copy it first of all. So the keyboard shortcut for Mac users is Command C. For Windows users, that's Control C. I'll do that now. And to paste in front, it's Command F for Mac users and Control F for Windows users. Now with the one that I pasted in front, I just want to flip it to the other side. So I'm going to come and use my properties window here. And you've got these little options here to flip, either flip vertically or flip horizontally. In this instance here, I'll be using the flip horizontal option. And also make sure you use the reference point here. Make sure your reference point is on the right-hand side because what I would like it to do is flip on the right-hand side of the pre-existing shape. If I do that there like so, there we have our leaf. Now with the one that we've just copied over, what I'd like to do is sort of create an extra path, expand it in a sense. So I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Now, obviously, you can dictate how many or how little uh, you want it to expand by. To be to be fair, 10 pixels is, is, is good enough for me for what I want to create. So I'm just going to press OK. Then I'm just going to select everything here and use our Shape Builder tool. And what I'd like to do is remove this outer uh, border expanding thing that I did earlier. So to remove using the key, uh, to, sorry, to remove using the Shape Builder, it would, you'd have to use Option for Mac and Alt for Windows users. So I'm just going to come through here and just remove that section like so. And there we have my element that I would now like to apply as a uh, pattern brush. I'm just going to select it and rotate it. Make sure you press Shift as well, just so you get a perfect rotation. And then with that selected, make sure you have your pattern, uh, sorry, your brushes window uh, open. If you can't find that, it's always situated in window brushes here. So I'm going to set that like so, and I'm just going to plus that in there. And as you can see, we've got five types of brushes that we can use, calligraphic, scatter, art, or bristle brush. But the one I'll be like to using is our pattern brush here like so. And then we press OK. There you can see it's saved as our pattern brush. Just name it as well. So we're going to call this leaf brush and we're going to press OK. I'm just going to now delete that. Let's zoom out a little bit here using the keyboard shortcut of Command minus for Mac users or Command, oh, sorry, Control minus for Windows users. Point like so. One of the benefits of using brushes in Illustrator is you can apply them to pre-existing uh, parts. So with my uh, ellipse tool, what I'm now going to do is press Shift and just create a nice proportionate, perfect looking ellipse there. Just going to swap the fill and the stroke around. And then with that selected still, I can come to my um, pattern brush here and just apply it like so. And as you can see, we have a real cool looking leaf pattern brush there. I'm just going to align this ellipse uh, horizontally and vertically centered to the artboard. And if you want to manipulate the actual brush itself, it's very easy for you. All you have to do is double click the brush that I saved earlier, which will bring up your pattern brush options. 
And you see you've got scale, so I can bring that down if we want, like so. Or obviously we can bring that up, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Let's say I quite like it around, let's keep it as 80%. I'm gonna make sure I have no spacing and have it stretched to fit stroke length. Make sure you apply to strokes. And let me just deselect for you there. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create a really cool looking leaf pattern brush with an Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the courses that we offer at Blue Sky Graphics, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.